The Tigers are back home at CQ Arena this week, and everyone's going to be excited to see this version of the Towson University Tigers men's basketball team. The Tiger Basketball Report starts now. For an athlete, there's nothing scarier than a torn ACL. Athletes trust us with their care and their careers because we're a recognized leader in sports medicine. Get back to your active life sooner with MedStar Sports Medicine. White Market's ice cream plant is based in Sungary, Pennsylvania and locally owned and operated. We've been making our ice cream for nearly 50 years. We create roughly 70 flavors of ice cream right now. We use local ingredients, especially our cream, which is from our milk plant. The cream is what gives our, our ice cream a rich and creamy texture. Now together with our customers, uh, we've created a, a product called Peanut Butter Indulgence, which will be coming out this summer. It's a peanut butter ice cream with sea salt caramel swirl, and chocolate covered pretzel. How could you go wrong with that? Personally, I love our ice cream. You come to our house at any given time, you'll find at least five packets of ice cream in our freezer. Uh, our kids grew up eating wise quality ice cream, and now we get to treat our grandchildren to it. It's been a pleasure for me to be tasting ice cream for over 40 years to Wise Markets, and, and I'm loving every minute of it. Welcome, fans, to another edition of the Tiger Basketball Report. I'm your host, Spiro Marikas, along with head coach Pat Scary, and coach the Tigers back home at CQ Arena this week, Wednesday night against Morgan, and Saturday afternoon against UMBC. And I know you really like playing all the local schools. Well, one, you don't have to travel 3,300 miles to get good quality opponents. We got so many good ones right here. I mean, you know, starting with Morgan State, picked to win the MEAC. Todd Bozeman's taken to the NCAA tournament multiple times. Um, and you don't, you don't miss class. Guys don't miss class. They're here, and it's good for local rivalry and media. And, you know, so many of the local teams are on the uptick. UMBC was in the postseason last year. They're, they're a viable threat to win the American East Conference. So it's, we get, you know, we get tough, tough games this week. Uh, and, you know, starting Wednesday night, all our focus is in you know, how, how can we beat Morgan. Now, Morgan, a team that they've, uh, they've, they've just lost a tough game to Navy, but they've got a win over South Florida. They've played well. They're 4-4 four and four coming into the game against the Tigers. Uh, Philip Carr is one of their best players, along with Cameron. I mean, this is a team that's got depth. And, and as you said, Todd Bozeman, you know you're going to be playing a well-coached team that's going to play hard. Yeah, Carr is really good. He reminds us of the kid. He's a right-handed version of the kid from LaSalle, B.J. Johnson. He's 6'8", 6'9" can really shoot it, uh, gets his own shot, posts up. He's, he's a tough cover, and Cameron's really quick and fast, and they got great athletes. Um, they get, we know they're going to play us zone press, back to zone, um, and, you know, try to, try to drive us and, and you know, eat, eat some clock. So, we, 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 you know, we're going to have to take care of the basketball, and we're going to have to have our type of defense you know, that takes away the three-point shot, and we've got to do a great job on, on, on the backboard. So, I mean, it'll, it'll, it'll be a big challenge. It'll be a really good environment in here, and, so it's been a it's been a it's been a good game um, the last few years, and, and we expect the same on Wednesday night. You look at Morgan with their four and four record coming in, and and they do have depth, something maybe they haven't had in years past. This is a team that I don't know that they have the depth that Towson has. I don't know that many teams in the country do because you guys go so deep, and 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 you have no drop off when you use all of those players. How does that affect you when you're playing a team? that maybe isn't going to run up and down and be frenetic uh, like a Manhattan or they're not going to be a team like LaSalle, Morgan, maybe a little slower paced. How does your depth help you in that situation? Well, we've still got to use a lot of guys and, and you know, they are deep, but, but they have a couple guys that play pretty much the whole game. You know, can we really make those guys work off of every ball screen for every catch? Can we make them work in transition? And, 
over, over 40 minutes, hopefully get to them. And, but, but they are good. They've, they've proved they went at one at Mount St. Mary's, who was in the tournament last year. And like you said, they beat South Florida on the road. So they're, they're, they're a proven group. Uh, we get great respect for them. Um, but it's, an, it's the next game on the schedule. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a game that's if we can win, it's going to help us. Um, and ratings and rankings and all that, because they, they're going to win a lot of games and probably win their league and be in the NCAA tournament. You guys coming off the trip from Ireland, uh, not a lot of time between games. You get back Sunday night and, and the game is on Wednesday. What do you do to try to make sure that, that guys don't get worn down? I mean, you've got these two games, then you've got a big break. Yeah, you know what? And we, you know, you tell a long time you can have results or excuses. You can't have both, you know, and, and um, you know, talked about getting a lot of rest and we did practice yesterday try to get the legs moving and you know you gotta same thing we try to get back in routine and we, we do have depth and you know look we took the trip over to Ireland and you know people have asked how you're gonna be coming back I don't know we've never done it but once again we got these guys are young and we, we, we got we got to play got to find a way to win the game we're not getting any bonus points because we went over to Ireland on Wednesday night all right after you, uh, Morgan State comes in on Wednesday on Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock UMBC here, and as you mentioned last year, the Retrievers under Ryan Odom, I mean, they did a tremendous job, one of the biggest turnarounds in the nation. Um, they played postseason tournament. They're off to a decent start this year, and they've got one of the best players you're going to face all year long in Jarius Lyles. Yeah, he's a one-man wrecking crew. They've got a, the, the kid KJ Marr is a great guy. they got really good shooting ability, uh, explosiveness on the perimeter, you know, Sherwood. And, and so uh, they can really, really score. Um, you know, I haven't had a chance to watch him yet because uh, we haven't played Morgan. And, you know, we can't get ahead, but uh, it, it'll be a good game. Uh, tough opponent. We should have lost there last year. We hung in and were able to fight back and in a, in a tough environment. And, you know, our, our hopefully our ability to defend a three-point shot is there on Saturday because it's going to need to be. They take a lot of them. How different is their style from Morgan's? Well, I mean, I haven't watched them enough yet, but compared to last year, I mean, just uh, they shoot a ton of threes. That would be the really biggest tip. Not that Morgan's not capable. That Morgan has a little more inside out. You know, with, with Carr being such a good good player, um, UMBC is very very perimeter oriented. You look at your team, and and the thing that I, I think is going to help you so much down the line is that you don't rely on that one guy every night. I, I mean, you look at the tournament in Florida where you had six different players score double digit points. You look at the trip to Ireland where. Zane Martin got named the, the tournament MVP. Meanwhile, Mike Morsell hits the game-winning shot. Brian Starr played a tremendous game against LaSalle. Uh, I know he got a little banged up and, and was not quite 100% against Manhattan. But you guys have it from everywhere. And then you look coming off the bench, and, and Justin Gorham probably had his, I don't want to say terrible games, but he didn't play as well in Ireland as he did in other places, and you still won. Yeah, and he'll bounce back this week. You know, he he was coming off a little injury, and we're gonna need him to bounce back. And you got a guy like Deshaun Mormon, who's really a starter, and McNeil shooting the ball well. And you know, we're excited about Ingram, and Tunsil always helps us. So we we need all those boys. I thought Alex had a great weekend in Ireland for us. Great weekend. So you know, and Eddie's Eddie. You know, he's gonna he's gonna bring it every night. So it's it's we it's it's that sacrifice mentality, and you know, we we, we our depth is what's gonna hopefully get us where we want to get to. All right, so the Tigers, two games at home at CQ this week, Wednesday night at 7 against Morgan, and then Saturday at 2 o'clock against UMBC. Now, the great Yogi Berra once said, make sure you go to all your friends' funerals because you want them coming to yours. <laughs> that's a great, he was very profound, very profound. He it's, was. It was good. That's, that's, that's a good one, Spiro. You know, it's not your best, it's not your worst, you know. <laughs> All right, for head coach Pat Scary, I'm Spiro Marikas. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Tiger Basketball Report. And as always, go Tigers.